Hello subscribers, today is Wednesday, July 12th, and I made my trade for the day. Um, I did make my 5% for the day, and it was awesome. It was quick, easy, short, uh, the markets were up huge, and I also wanted to talk to you a little bit, even though I might sound like a uh, broken record, but I do only go five for 5 to 10%, guys. Why do, why do I only go for 5 to 10%, guys? Is The idea is... Um, if, the, if I can make 5 to 10% consistently, all it will take is for me to roll over my profits and trade the exact same way regardless of whether I'm trading with $50 or $50,000, guys. And the neat thing about it is I've seen a couple of times, I've seen not just a couple of times, but several times, I'll go into a position, into a trade, and somebody out there, whether it be just one person or an actual uh, company or hedge fund or whatnot, uh, somebody will actually trade with fifty to a hundred thousand dollars so it gives me hope that I can actually trade one day fifty thousand dollars at a time that is exactly where I'm heading towards uh, that's my goal where I can make five to ten percent of my money each trade and possibly even more so uh, that's what I'm preparing myself for guys I'm putting it all out there and also I should note that um, I, you know, if you haven't noticed uh, by now, I am trading with the 15, 5, and 1 minute charts. The 5 and 15 minute charts, I basically uh, base my trend off of those two charts, but my entries are always going to be based off the 1 minute chart. I'm looking for uh, momentum in, in that direction of the trend. That momentum, that instant, that moment that I'm trying to buy in, I'm looking for momentum. So that gives you a little bit of insight of my strategy. And once I hit to uh, once I hit 100 subscribers, I will post videos and tutorials of how I trade, what I look for. I only trade with two indicators. Very easy, uh, self-explanatory. If, if you know a little bit about indicators, I think I can teach you how to trade uh, the way the way I do. And they they tell me everything. They tell me uh, where my support resistance is. They tell me um, where the momentum is, what the uh, uh, trend is. They tell me everything that I need to know based off of just two indicators. Indicators, and it's pretty awesome, pretty neat, guys. So hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. And here's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be interesting. We have uh, Fed Chair uh, Yellen testifying, um, and I don't know how that's going to affect the markets. Whether they're going to go flat for the next. Uh, uh, 30 minutes to an hour or so. That starts at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, by the way. And then we also have crude oil inventories uh, set out to uh, come out at 10.30 Eastern Time as well. Uh, we shall see what happens. The uh, markets are up big today. SPY is up $1.23. That's huge. Huge jump up. So um, my, my best guess is uh, the uh, markets aren't going to move much. Something interesting is the 243.50 calls that expire today are up 625% already. It's definitely looking like we're going to be playing calls today. I'm just waiting for an opportunity to get in. It's looking uh, decent here. I'm hoping it consolidates for a little bit longer. I'm looking at the 243.50 calls that expire on Friday. Those are the ones I am looking to trade. I went ahead and bought it in at 75 cents. Looks like I might have got in a little early. Okay, looks looking like uh, we're ready to roll here. Here we go, 76 bit 78. Here we go, we're going higher. I'm still in it. There we go, we're heading back up. I'm still in it. I'm sorry if you hear my son in the background, but <laughs> he's here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and get out. I didn't like the action here. So I went ahead and got out. Um, got out at 79 cents. I was holding more contracts than I usually do, and I didn't want to risk it. So I went ahead and sold out at 79 cents. Bought it at 75, got out at 79. I could. I was trying to sell at 81 there, but uh, I just couldn't. Uh, it didn't have the power that I was hoping for. So, again, to conserve any uh, 
any uh, profits, I went ahead and sold out. And there you go, 79 by 81. Oh, there it is, 80 by 81. Well, darn it, it looks like it's going to keep going up higher. But again, I just I was trading with more contracts than I usually do. And it just didn't feel too comfortable. So I went ahead and sold, and I'm okay with that. I'm just going to continue to watch it here for just a moment. Um, I already made my trade uh, for the day. I ended up making 5.3%, so I'm good with that. No biggie there. I'm actually uh, pretty happy about that one. We are good. Let's see. I'm hoping that it gets enough strength here to to move higher. And there it was. That's what I was kind of hoping for when I first got in over here. But uh, 85 by 86, this is where I would have been selling. Well, darn, guys. It took profits too quickly. Alrighty, guys. Well, that was, that was it. That was the uh, trade of the day right there. Uh, quick and easy. Um, we are 20 minutes into the opening bell, and I already made my trade. I didn't make as much money as I'd hoped, but I'm happy overall. I made my trade, made my money, and uh, we are all good. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. I would greatly appreciate it, and uh, see you tomorrow.